like long way down. I mean, you can't get away from high fidelity. That's his, that's, you know, that's, that's, that's his, you know, his that's a great book. But I, I really like a long way down. And actually, to tell you the truth, sorry to go on about Nick's books, but um, um, I think that um, uh, uh, Slam is an um, uh, underrated uh, Nick book. And um, uh, Juliet Naked is really good. He's hit the point where people expect everything for him to do to be in a certain category and for it to be great. So, yes, it's both of those things. It is in a certain category and boring, it's great. You know, so he did what they expected and it's amazing. I don't know, Ravel String Quartet in F major. Cherry Garcia. Kitties think that, that, um, their life is pretty dramatic because it is when you're when you're a kid so that's heavy it's heavy at the moment then they haven't been hit with you know income tax and mortgage and you know children and stuff like that yet. So that that will be heavier but we won't tell them he's he's always wanted to do one of my songs he's been waiting for uh, for me to have the kind of uh, phenomenal radio success with something that it requires for him to do it. Um, well, I follow uh, Fleur Folds, and um, who else? I don't know. I think uh, sometimes I think Lord G Almighty is pretty funny. Um, you know, uh, I haven't seen much out of Eddie Azard lately. I was following. Him, but I haven't noticed that much. It usually gets covered up with Amanda Palmer tweets. She tweets so much that as soon as she starts going, then I actually don't have time to go down and see anyone else's. So I keep up with Amanda that way. It's basically my email, public email account with Amanda. I might have. Uh, I, when Brick was a hit, it was, um, there was nothing to celebrate. It was, um, a relief because we've been going so hard and, and we weren't really going to be able to continue without a certain amount of success to pay for the momentum we gained. In other words, we were carrying a grand piano on tour. You can't do that as a not successful band. All these things were coming to an end if we didn't have a hit. So when it became a hit, I was told it's a hit. I was working really hard. I didn't hear it on the radio. I heard it on the radio like once in America. That was it. And then the one time I, I heard a special on my music and Richard Kingsmill played it as a retrospective thing, but I maybe heard the song on the radio two, three times. 